Hey everyone, today's video veers from the usual content you're accustomed to. It's a deep dive into a personal odyssey, a narrative interwoven with the evolving tapestry of Fortnite. We're zoning in on the latest saga, Chapter 5, Season 2, Christened Myths and Mortals. This season isn't just another update, it's a pivotal juncture that nudged me towards an unforeseen decision, one that I grappled with, yet felt compelled to confront. As we unravel this chapter together, you'll see why it's not merely about the gameplay changes or the new skins, it's about the transformation of a universe that many of us have invested in, both emotionally and in the countless hours spent behind screens. Myths and Mortals promised an epic odyssey, intertwining the fabled might of Olympus with the familiar battlegrounds we thought we knew. Yet, amidst this grandeur, a lingering question haunted me. Has Fortnite transcended its original allure, morphing into a realm unrecognizable to its loyal legion? Join me in this introspective journey as we dissect the layers of this new season, peeling back the veneer of novelty to scrutinize the core essence of the game. It's a voyage through nostalgia, innovation, and the stark realization that sometimes, the paths we cherish most are the ones we must part ways with. So, stick around as we explore the essence of these changes, reflect on the game's evolution, and ponder over what it means to bid farewell to a world that once felt like home. The anticipation was electric, the gaming community buzzing with excitement as Fortnite unveiled its latest epoch, Myths and Mortals. The announcement heralded a season infused with the mystique of ancient legends, inviting us to traverse a realm where the omnipotent Zeus, the shadowy Hades, and the majestic Olympus weren't just myths, but stark realities of our battleground. As I embarked on this newly transformed island, the landscapes resonated with the echoes of these ancient deities. The ascent to Mount Olympus was no longer just a strategic maneuver, but a pilgrimage to the abode of gods. Encounters at Grim Gate weren't mere skirmishes, but monumental clashes with Cerberus, guarding the threshold to the netherworld. The Brawler's battleground transformed from a mere arena into a coliseum where the war cries of Ares himself seemed to reverberate through the air. Yet, amidst this grandiosity, a whisper of disenchantment began to stir within me. The fortnight that was once a canvas for raw, unbridled creativity and thrilling unpredictability seemed to morph into an elaborate stage for an overly scripted saga. The essence of the game, its very soul that celebrated simplicity, spontaneity, and the pure joy of play, seemed eclipsed by an ornate spectacle, reminiscent more of a theatrical epic than the battle royale that once felt like home. Wielding the thunderbolt of Zeus, I could command the skies, hurling lightning with the wrath of a god. The gatekeeper shotgun became my scepter, unleashing a barrage that echoed the ferocity of Cerberus himself. And with the wings of Icarus, I soared above the chaos, a spectator to the battleground below, yet detached, as if the very essence of the fight had slipped through my fingers like grains of sand. Each artifact, each divine intervention, felt less like a triumph of strategy and more like a surrender to spectacle, a game shifting beneath my feet, transforming into a realm where lore overshadowed logic and the thrill of the unknown was lost to the certainty of mythological might. As these new powers became my arsenal, the realization crystallized with every vanquished foe and every conquered challenge. These were not mere enhancements to the gameplay. They were harbingers of a transformation, a metamorphosis from a game of survival to a spectacle of power. And as the landscape around me burgeoned with the might of the ancients, I found myself longing for the days when the only deities were the players themselves, each crafting their own legends through skill, strategy, and the camaraderie of battle. In moments of quiet amidst the storm of battle, I find myself nostalgic for the old Fortnite, the version where chaos was the mother of invention and every match was a canvas awaiting our unique strokes of strategy, skill, and sometimes serendipity. There was a time when the heartbeat of the game was the pulse-pounding thrill of unpredictability, where every victory royale was a testament to ingenuity and quick thinking, not merely the mastery of the latest mythological arsenal. Now, as the island morphs into a battleground of deities and demigods, where every player wields the might of Olympus, I grapple with a game that feels increasingly alien. It's as if the essence of Fortnite, the adrenaline-fueled dance with chance, the cunning ambushes, the split-second decisions that turned the tide has been overshadowed by a grandiose mythology. The game now demands reverence to the gods' powers, where once it celebrated the guile of the gamer. This new epoch, with its pantheon of omnipotent artifacts, transforms the battlefield into a domain where the whims of mythic entities dictate the flow of combat. 
The cunning strategies and the electrifying unpredictability that once defined our late night sessions are now veiled beneath the spectacle of divine intervention. The satisfaction of outmaneuvering an opponent, of an ingenious escape, or a well-timed assault, is diluted in a realm where celestial powers dominate the field of play. The transformation is profound. It's not merely the game that's changed, but the very nature of the competition. The battleground was once a place where anyone, regardless of their familiarity with the latest season's gimmicks, could emerge victorious through sheer wit and will. But now, it seems as though victory is less about tactical brilliance and more about who can best harness the overwhelming tide of mythological might. And so, after much introspection and countless hours spent in the evolving world of Fortnite, I've reached a crossroads. The Myths and Mortals chapter, with its grandiose narrative and divine interventions, marks the end of my journey with this game. It's a decision that doesn't come lightly, but one that resonates with my core as a gamer. This isn't just about putting down the controller, it's about honoring the essence of what gaming means to me. Fortnite's latest season, while technically impressive, diverges from the elements that once made the game a cornerstone of my gaming repertoire. It's been an extraordinary odyssey, filled with exhilarating victories, heartbreaking defeats, and countless memories with friends and fellow gamers. But as the game veers into a direction that no longer aligns with my passion, I find the resolve to seek new adventures, new challenges, and games that reignite that quintessential thrill of gaming. Now I turn to you, my fellow gamers and viewers. How do you perceive the transformation Fortnite has undergone? Does myths and mortals represent the zenith of innovation, or does it stray too far from the roots that once defined our collective experience? Are you invigorated by the new mythological dimensions, or like me, are you yearning for the simplicity and raw challenge of the past? Share your thoughts, your stories, and your verdicts in the comments below. Your insights not only enrich our community, but also shape the dialogue around the evolving landscape of gaming. If this reflection strikes a chord with you, if you felt the same sense of conflict or clarity about your gaming journey, I encourage you to engage. Hit the like button to support this conversation, subscribe for a continued exploration of gaming's evolving narrative, and ring the bell to stay updated with content that delves beyond the surface of gaming trends. Together, let's keep the spirit of authentic gaming alive, championing the experiences that resonate most deeply with who we are as players. Until we meet again, take care, cherish the memories, and never stop seeking the games that make your heart race and your spirit soar. Game on, and let the next adventure begin.